That's a lovely puck out straight down the throat. Connor Doyle. This is Screeny. Screeny pulls away from his man. Screeny. Nice score. Screeny getting his second point, switching sides from left to right. There's a small little man, and he's not going to be pushed around by old Downey. Oh, a shot tended by Wick Buckley has been charged down. This is Ben Cunningham. Cunningham looking for maybe more than a point. Goes for goal. Good stop. Straight at Mark Troy, though. And a chance as well for Cork, and they've got a goal. Eventually, Dermot Healy slams it to the back of the net. And that's the opening goal, and it's wiped out that lead. It's now 1-2 to 4. Offaly just couldn't clear their lines. That was the first shot by Troy. All he could do was punch it forward. Offaly couldn't clear it. Dropped nicely into the hands of Healy, and he buried it low past Troy. Barkling start from Offaly. A goal and two were that response for the Corkman. Screeny. Really is a small, diminutive little man. Tempted chop there by Howell. He gets away from him. Chance of a goal, perhaps, for Egan. Oh, he's been dragged down. And what's the referee given here? And I think this may be a penalty. Greeny came forward and passed it inside. And oh, he got a little tug of the T-shirt, and there's no doubt about that, that Cormac Egan got a shoulder high to the face. Here it comes in there. So Kingston gets the yellow. And penalty then for Offaly is the result. Dan Ravenhill. And it's Brian Sanderson standing in his way. Chance for Offaly for the opening goal. And he does well. Keeper went the right way. But Dan Ravenhill to the roar of the Offaly supporters in the 12th minute has restored Offaly's lead. 1-4 to 1-3. Nicely taken penalty. Sanderson a little unlucky diving away to his right-hand side. Got some of the stick on this but couldn't prevent it from hitting the back of the net. Good penalty. Keeper a little unlucky. Well, Offaly persisting with this low, flat puck out. They've had one interception so far, but this time it's got up to Screeny. Really just pulls away from his man really well. Screeny from the sideline. Screeny with the point. Lovely score. 14 minutes gone. They're trading score for score. That's Screeny's fourth point in the final. Destined for senior. No doubt about that if he stays with it. Ben O'Connor into Kremen. Kremen levels it up. Persistence from Ben O'Connor of St. Finbar's into Middleton's David Kremen. He finds his mark with his first point. Just shrugged off the challenge of Brecken Kavanagh. Ben Cunningham. Cunningham gets away from Dan Burke. Chance for Cork to take the lead. And Cork lead for the second time in this game, 1-9 to 1-8. Dublin referee, Chris Mooney, gets us underway in this second half. Cork in the ascendancy by two, immediately break forward with their captain Mullins. Mullins is going an awful long way here. Mullins in front of goal! 11 seconds into the second half, and they never close Michael Mullins down. The white church man went an awful long way. And despite the attempts of Mark Troy to keep it out, 11 seconds into the second half, it's Cork 2-11. Offaly 1-9. A killer blow for Offaly. Uh, Cork tails will be up now. Offaly's plans for the second half, maybe to keep things tight. Straight out the window with the concession of the goal. Here's Cunningham on that far side. And they've started in a blitz. They'll be delighted the way things have gone for them in the early part of the second half. A goal and a point. Mullins into the corner, into Jack Leahy. Two points to his credit so far. Leahy has a look at the post. That should be three. And they're running rampant here, Cork. Goal and two without reply in the early part of the second half. They haven't even reached two minutes of the second half yet. Goalkeeper Mark Troy into the corner. 
Oh, a chance for Offaly to get a goal, perhaps in the second half, and they've got one. They've needed that one too. Connor Doyle, after that free from the goalkeeper, Mark Troy, up into the corner, somehow managed to wrestle it clear down that right hand side, worked his way in to the large square, and then planted it past Brian Sanderson in the core goal. Now there's seven between them. And that second half blitz, which included the goal after 11 seconds of the restart from Michael Mullins, has put them really much in the box seat despite the goal from Connor Doyle. Jack Leahy, three points to his credit, make that number four. Just waiting for this 65 to come in. Screen is going out to take it. Screeny, well, all he can do is just lob it in, even if the score goal won't make a difference. Oh, well, they do get one. That's consolation, but it's the last score you would think of this final. And it's Shane Rigney, the St. Rhinus man, the goal scorer, having come on as a sub. Nice finish. And there goes the final whistle. Last action of the game. It's Cork, who are the champions for the 14th time at either under 20 or under 21 level. But it is Cork who take home 